Welcome to your daily episode of Poverty Proof, how the rich think differently and how you can train your brain for wealth. Today we're asking a simple question, the answer to which takes us into some depth on the topic of wealth. And the simple question is, what is wealth? What does it actually mean when we say wealthy? What are the underpinnings of that idea? Well, wealth is very simply excess money. Anything that is extra excess above and beyond what you need to survive qualifies as wealth. That is your excess. It's your ability to meet your needs and have some left over. Now, that's a very simple thing to say, but it's quite profound how much goes into that. Quick history lesson. A few hundred years ago, we lacked excess as a species. Most people on earth were really struggling to get by and didn't have even enough to meet their needs, let alone excess left over that qualified as wealth. Two incredibly important things changed over the course of the last few hundred years, and they were the advance of freedom and specialization. One gave rise to the other. So imagine this, a few hundred years ago, we did not have freedom. You would typically have worked for a lord or a chief, and you didn't get to decide what you did with your time. You had work requirements set out for you. And in most cases, it would go like this. You would do a certain amount of work for your lord or your chief, and then in any time left over, you'd be able to, for example, grow some vegetables for your family. And under such conditions, most people didn't quite have enough. So what changed that we now have excess and that this is a growing trend around the world? Well, the first condition was human freedom. If you no longer have to work for a lord or a chief or a central government, you have time available. And that freedom means that you can specialize at something. You can become more educated, cleverer, better at a thing. And that means that you are able to produce an excess of that thing. Now, here's the amazing part that happens. As different human beings specialize in the things that they become good at, they are able to trade the excess and everybody wins. So here's how specialization benefits everyone. A few hundred years ago, we might all have focused on the small amount of farming necessary to feed our families. Now we introduce freedom into the equation and I decide I don't want to farm, I want to make cabinets. And I specialize at making cabinets and I get really good at that. Now, I don't have to spend the entire day farming the food that feeds my family. I can buy it from you because you're good at that. You need a cabinet. You don't have to dedicate your day to making that cabinet. You can dedicate it to becoming better at the farming. And so we each sell the thing that we have excess of because of the specialization. And the result of that multiplied over a village, a tribe, a nation all around the world is growing amounts of excess. Now that's the situation we're in today where you are able to specialize at one thing. You don't have to grow your own food. You don't have to service your own car. You don't have to because there are other people who are good at that. And in each case, their specialization at that thing means that they have an excess from it that they can trade for other things. So this leads us to where we are today, which is this idea of a little bit left over. A little bit left over is the formula for wealth. Wealth is simply excess. And that teaches us a couple of very simple but very important things. The first one is this. You have to have some excess left over or you're not growing wealthy. If your income is only meeting your needs and there is no excess, you are not growing wealthier. You are simply getting by. And that means that you either need to lower your costs in order to have more excess or you need to increase your income in order to have more excess. Or, of course, you could do both. You could lower your costs at the same time as you increase your income. That is the formula for wealth. Wealth equals excess. And it is that excess money that provides us with safety nets, that ensures that your family is taken care of, that means that you can handle road bumps, uh, that sees you through things like a switching off of the economy in the face of a virus going around the world. Excess is safety. It is the ability to do more. It is backup and it is like having an extra set of levers by which to access the world. Wealth is simply excess. Tomorrow we're going to talk about why capitalism is not only the most effective means of achieving that excess, but also the most moral one.